Well, good morning. <laughs> no, I'm not really that awake yet. It's like five o'clock in the morning. I text uh, Mayhem Mike here a little bit ago and I said, uh, I don't know, I said something like I'm up getting ready to go and he said, I'm alive, but I'm not awake. So I'm giving him a few minutes cause he, he got back from uh, Tulsa after I got back from Nebraska yesterday, probably hour or two, something like that. So he had to go home, get his clothes packed, and, which is what I did last night. And you gotta go over to his place and throw his tent in the trailer and uh, hopefully not too much more after that because we're loaded pretty good. I'll show you here what I got in this trailer. Okay, we're loaded down. Uh, got my laptop, spare tire, uh, extension cord with the splitter, propane, a little fan right down in there, a uh, sleeping bag, uh, my tent, tarp, poles, uh, uh, some other stuff, a cobalt impact, just in case we get a flat tire on this trailer. And uh, what else? Oh, coffee press. Uh, that's one thing I didn't get was some coffee, but that can wait. In fact, I'm gonna stick that flat right there and then put the sleeping bag up in here somewhere. And then we have a cooler. Um, yeah, I think we're uh, loaded down. I did a live last night. Uh, while I was working on the uh, backrest, getting it adjusted, it's all nice and adjusted now. And I'm pretty happy with it. Oh, y'all notice I got a t-shirt, Support Bikers, Missouri. And hopefully y'all can see that. Go to supportbikers.com and uh, you can contribute to the, I think it's called the Wrecked Rider Fund. You can do a one-time donation. Um, just go on that website and check it out. The Badgers on uh, YouTube has developed that site to support bikers. They have different things on there. I'm gonna to have to get on there when I get back from the trip and see if I can um, put a profile for Missouri because we do have an enclosed trailer in case somebody breaks down, needs a ride, or uh, you know, out of gas in the area if I'm if I'm available. So, yeah. Uh, I gotta check the air in the tires. I think. So, especially this one over here. That's another thing. Uh, excuse me. Yesterday I was up in uh, Fort Kearney, uh, Nebraska. And I went in the truck stop, used the facilities, and got a little snack. And I came back out, and here this little lady was uh, pulling a micro camper kind of thing with a Toyota pickup. It wasn't a very big camper. It was basically big enough for one or two people maybe. And she was parked over by the air hose and she had a tire pressure gauge in her hand. And I had to walk past her to go to the truck. And I says, would you like me to check the tire pressure? in your tires and she goes oh would you please so um she didn't even know how much pressure to put in it so i looked on there and said 50 psi when they're cold so she had been running down the road and they were they were you know warmed up so uh i checked them all and they were like around 40 45 pounds something like that and i said you're good to go I said, where are you going? She goes, back to Michigan. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. And I says, 
before you get on the road tomorrow, if you're gonna stay at night somewhere, uh, check your tire pressure. And if you can, uh, put some air in them, whatever, if they need it, when they're cold. Or you can actually stop at a truck stop and you might be able to find a, another friendly trucker to help you out. So I had to wait a little bit longer and I got going down the road and there she was almost to Lincoln, Nebraska, running about 63, 64 mile an hour, just uh, moving along. So yeah. But this next video series, I don't know what I'm gonna call it. Um, Cause we're not really gonna stay in Sturgis. We're going up for two nights. And I think I'm gonna, uh, if I get videos uploaded, I'll do a part one, part two, part three, whatever. But I think I'm gonna call it Sturgis and Beyond. Because there's a lot more things to see beyond Sturgis. And um, so keep an eye out for those videos. I'll get them uploaded when I can. And I will probably do some shorts uh, on the way up there and travel around before I get videos uploaded each day. So yeah, I'm kind of excited. It's, it's, it's a well needed break and it, uh, there's something about running out west, you know, South Dakota, uh, Montana, Wyoming, that area, Colorado, you know, it's just, uh, it's refreshing, so to speak. And there was one thing that I really wanted to possibly do that, you know, I feel bad because I didn't reach out, but those of you that have been with the channel know that uh, the man that fathered me had passed away back in 2000. And uh, one thing he loved to do, or basically did the rest of his life, was sit on the end of the couch and watch Bonanza and Gunsmoke and uh, stuff like that. And he really liked it out west. And I don't even know if they've done anything with his uh, remains yet. And I thought it would be kind of neat to uh, contact the other side of the family and see if I could take his remains and uh, take them out west and uh, spread them somewhere. But I don't know. It's a, it's a tough thing to do because there's been some stuff going on that, it's it's a long story, so I guess maybe I could have called, asked, uh, but maybe maybe in the future I don't know. I kind of feel like it's it would kind of put how you want to say it, uh, put my mind at rest also. Uh, but life and death is, is, uh, can be kind of complicated sometimes. So, well, I'm going to jump off here. I appreciate y'all watching live, jumping in last night. And, uh, yeah, a lot of y'all be going, going this way when we're going to be going that way. <laughs> All the all the partying and stuff would be over with, which is fine with me because I'm not a big party goer, concerts, what else not, uh, crowds. Uh, I saw some uh, videos this morning where you're in a concert. I mean, they're just standing wall to wall for a concert out there. And I, I couldn't do that. So I got to take a look at the radar and uh, they were showing some spotty showers moving down this way. And I'm gonna sh get this thing strapped in, get it locked up and get going. Basically, I gotta run over to Mayhem Mike's and uh, throw his tent in the trailer, a couple tarps or something, I don't know. And uh, 
just get going. So that's just a couple thoughts this morning. I got to see Miss Linda off to work and give her a kiss and, and uh, say, see you later. <laughs> so y'all have a good day. Stay out of trouble if you're traveling from or to or whatever here and there. Be careful. Watch out for for uh, other traffic. Drive defensively, and we'll we'll, uh, we'll basically do the same. So, all right, y'all. Have a good day. We're gonna get going and get everything buttoned up here and get going because time's wasting. Say bye.